Welcome to Unfold Data Science, friends. My name is Aman and I'm a data scientist. In this particular video, I'm going to make the topic of degrees of freedom very, very simple for you. Okay. So this is one topic, guys, which people ask in interview and many people are not clear about this. So what we are going to do is we are going to understand the generic definition of degrees of freedom with a simple example. And then I'm going to relate it with regression, how it works in a basic regression problem and then I am going to show you in Python an example of how you can relate degrees of freedom with whatever we learned in first two sections. Okay. So to start with guys, first of all, I will give you a simple example of what is degrees of freedom. Okay. Let's say there is a class in that class. There are three students. Okay. Student one, student two and student three. Fine all these students let's give the name okay let's say a b and c three students okay let's give the marks to them let's say a scores 10 marks b scores 5 marks c scores 15 marks now if i ask you what is the average marks of this class what you are going to tell me you are going to add all these numbers together and divide it by three right so 10 plus 5, 15 plus 15, 30 divided by 3 is nothing but 10. Okay. So 10 is the average marks of student in this class. Now, what is the difference from the mean for A, B and C? So for A, difference from the mean is 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay. For B, the difference from the mean is 5 minus 10 is equal to minus 5 and for c there has to be a number coming here so that the addition of all these should be zero now why i am telling that addition of all these three should be zero because from our understanding of the system from our understanding of how mean works from our understanding of how average works from our understanding of this framework of average we know that whenever we take average the difference of the mean from individual observations should sum up to the zero that we know now this is the truth guys the sum has to be zero okay so i ask you can i put any other number here in place of this question mark no this number has to be a number such that the sum of all three should be zero. Fine. Can I put any other number here? Yes. Can I put any other number here? Yes. So how many degrees of freedom in this case, guys? You cannot vary the third number. You cannot vary this number because the sum has to be zero. You can vary only these two numbers and hence degrees of freedom in this simple example is two how many values you can vary so that the ground rule of the framework the ground rule of the framework remains intact how many non-constants you have so this is a non-constant zero this is a non-constant five so constraint we have only on one in this case so i give you a very simple example of what is degrees of freedom on how many values you do not have constraint so that the ground rule of your system is pertaining is existing now let me give you another example of how this will work in regression scenario so guys let's take y is equal to mx plus c okay y is equal to mx plus c now i tell you hey how many lines can you draw from this equation how many lines can you draw from this equation you can draw infinite number of lines guys like this like this like this like this like this because i am not putting any constraint on m i am not putting any constraint on c so degrees of freedom for you is 2 suppose i tell you how many lines you can draw if i tell you that you have a fixed C. So in place of C, you can take only two. 
how many how many lines can you draw so let us say this is two now all the lines you draw has to be passed through this point sorry this should pass through this like this or like this or all these should pass through this particular point okay in this case degrees of freedom is one similarly if i tell you this c will be two and this m will be one now how many lines you can draw guys you can draw just one line so degrees of freedom in this case will become zero so if you have understood this now it will be very simple for you to understand how it works in linear regression scenario again i give you one more example here y is equal to let us say beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 okay so one target variable and only one independent variable now my question to you is how many minimum data points you need to estimate this relationship i am repeating it again guys how many minimum data points data points means number of records rows how many minimum rows or number of records i should give you so that you will be able to you know find out this relationship between y and x1 let's try understanding with an example let us say this is your table okay in this table this is your target variable y okay and this is your independent variable x1 okay my question to you is how many minimum number of rows i should give you so that you can give me this line let us try to understand with the xy chart again here if there is only one point right then that will be somewhere here just an example okay can you tell me what is beta 0 and beta 1 from this probably no obviously no right because one point the line can be drawn in any direction right let us add another point okay another point here now can you tell me what is the relation between beta 0 and B, what is the value of beta 0 and beta 1 so if you uh, whenever i say give me the value of beta 0 and beta 1 means i am talking about a line right i am talking about a line this is nothing but mx plus c right you need a slope and you need an intercept so i tell you two points suffice for you probably yes probably no because if you want to join these two points guys right if you want to join these two points like this then obviously this will be the best fit line always this will be the best fit line always there is no learning for the model okay now comes the important thing guys let us add one more point here so one more point can come slightly like this okay slightly like this and now when you draw a line that line can be something like this or probably something like this right and whenever i'm talking about a line that is nothing but i'm trying to find out beta 0 and beta 1 right so what you observed here is if there is one independent variable and one target variable if we have three data points right then we can derive the relation in a meaningful way between y and x variable okay and this additional one point that we added here is point of freedom point of freedom point of freedom means you are giving one more information to the model for learning the pattern okay you are giving one more information to the model for learning the pattern so now how many points i'm talking about three how many uh, independent variable i'm talking about one and what is the generic formula of degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is generally n minus k minus one so in this case degrees of freedom will be three minus one which will be two minus one is equal to one so degrees of freedom in this case is one if i add another data point here degrees of freedom will become two if i add another data point here degrees of freedom will become three you are getting it right now this is a scenario when we have just one independent variable okay let us try to understand little more on the same lines 
let us say you have a data like this okay you have a data where you have two independent features okay uh, x1 then x2 and then y then y now i tell you give me a relationship where y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 now my question to you again is how many minimum data points you need so that you can give me this relationship in a meaningful way right let us try to understand with a three dimensional plot now this time so this will be x x1 x2 let us consider y and then x1 and then x2 now from your understanding of multiple linear regression guys you know that the points will be scattered in a three dimensional plane and it can be somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here and the relation that we are trying to draw is nothing but a plane okay a plane kind of thing so you will observe here that in a multi-dimensional scenario right the minimum degrees of freedom that you need will increase why because you you don't need a line to draw the relation rather you need a plane to draw the relation okay so our previous formula will hold good here as well n minus k minus 1 so here the value of k will change so n minus k will be 2 minus 1 so degrees of freedom will always be n minus 3 okay and now in this case we cannot have n less than 4 because we we need at least one degree of freedom right one degree of freedom how will we achieve one degree of freedom by putting n is equal to 4 so how many minimum data points you need here 4 if it's a only one independent variable then 3 if it's a two uh, two independent variable then 4 if it's only one and both the cases degree of freedom is 1 so more and more you keep increasing your degree of freedom more and more your model learning capability will keep increasing okay so if this part is clear guys let me try to show you in python how degrees of freedom is working in a in a simple jupyter notebook example okay so here i have taken x train x test y train y test x y 33 percent same same way i have taken test train okay what is my train size guys 100 rows okay and three independent columns so in this case what is my n value my n value is uh, n is equal to 100 and your k is equal to 3 okay and when i run this model you will see the degrees of freedom here degrees of freedom is equal to 97 ideally the formula i gave you was n minus k minus 1 so it should be 100 minus 3 minus 1 it should be 96 however here it is showing 97 the reason for that is this is a stats model ols ordinary list square and it is not taking intercept by default so if you see here it is just taking the independent features three independent feature ideally there should be an intercept also right because i'm talking about mx plus c so ideally there should be a m uh, c value also beta not value also that is there is a parameter you can add in stat model and you know get that value as well i am not doing that so hence my degree of freedom is 97 but it should be 96 so remember guys always degrees of freedom what is the formula n minus k minus 1 with your uh, intercept in place more degrees of freedom more learning for the model less degrees of freedom less learning for the model definition of degrees of freedom on how many things you do not have a constraint remember this on how many things you do not have a constraint that is the basic definition of degrees of freedom and that is how degrees of freedom works so let me know guys if you have, if i made this concept clear to you i will see you all in the next video please ask me all the questions that you have and suggest me all the topics that you have in your mind i will see you guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care